Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, just on a hill, well, it's a big mossy rock actually, uh, and we are overlooking a uh, nice little city over here, nice little town, some sort of interesting looking like castle and greenhouse right over here, uh, but it looks very, very cool. There's probably some sort of path that leads here, look at that. Someone in the woods wearing a shirt, hiding, or maybe some sort of yeti. Who knows, but uh, I guess it's time for me to guess where I think we are. And, well, based on this building, which I didn't really have a great chance at looking at yesterday, I'm going to say that we are in the beautiful hills of... Gosh, I really don't know. No, I don't think we're there. Lithuania? Gosh, that sounds fun to me. Sure, let's go right around there, kind of near Poland. The answer... Czech Republic, so kind of near Poland, yeah, but not, not quite, right near Brno, uh, so there you go, really, that's where we were, I'd say we were actually probably right, yeah, we were definitely right here, overlooking uh, this town, so there you go, 2273, hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are, in today's daily challenge location, absolutely stunning. First of all, just look at this mountain. I mean, that is seriously one of the most beautiful mountains I've ever seen. It's not at all snowy, which is interesting, full of like beautiful yellow flowers and an observatory or something along those lines, as well as, look at this, it's like a tiny little house at the top of a mountain. Oh my god. What an absolutely stunning place in today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me where in the world do you think we are right now. All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend Crashes to Ashes. Thank you so much, Crashes to Ashes, for this one. Been uh, quite excited to do this one, uh, because uh, this is a challenge with uh, a secret theme. Uh, now, it may the locations may seem completely random, but apparently there is a secret theme that shouldn't be too difficult if I pay attention. Now, I think you might be uh, overestimating my capabilities here. I doubt I'm going to figure out a secret. I mean, maybe it's very easy. You know, maybe I'm underestimating myself, but I think there's a good chance that I will not figure it out. So, hey, you know, you guys out there, pay attention. Try and figure it out as I go along, and if you do figure it out, then uh, drop that down in the comment section below as well, telling me what you think the secret theme is, um, if I don't figure it out. I mean, you know, watch the whole episode before you, you know, make that comment, uh, because I might figure it out, but maybe I won't, and I'll call upon you guys to uh, tell me where in the world you think it is. So, all right, let's, uh, where in the world, what in the world do you think the challenge theme is? All right, so let's go right to a challenge accepted. Boom. All right. Well, we seem to be in a photosphere. Oh, if you guys are interested in creating your own custom challenge, you know what to do. Look down in the description. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you'll find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. All right. So, where the where are we? It's a good question. I, I really don't know. Well, it's a photosphere. That's the first thing I notice. Second thing, it's very blurry, so I can't read, which is really too bad. Wow. All right, well, there you go. Hope, uh, hope that, uh, old, old YouTube doesn't uh, care too much about that one. Uh, but there you go. So, it's a statue. It's an inanimate object. So, come on. Again, I remind you, old YouTube robot moderators, look here in the bottom left-hand corner. You sanctioned this. This is your doing. Right? Okay. So, where in the world is this you know i gotta be honest i i really don't know i have no idea okay we're not going back there let's go this way oh are we in jamaica okay jamaica huh for whatever reason i didn't really think of that but jamaica all right it's not where i would have guessed all right so jamaica let's go uh kingston i guess uh i don't think we've been to jamaica before let's make the guess in the answer was indeed 6374 Kingston, Jamaica. Very, very cool. All right. So where is uh, this next place? Well, I don't know. 
I am not sure. Shopping center. Super value. Uh, we appear to be in the UK somewhere. Something house. Super value. Ulster bank. Something pharmacy. Uh, what do we got? A GameStop. Okay, we got a GameStop going on here. So that's pretty good. Uh, seven, an ad for 7up. Now, what I wanted to see... So I wanted to see this. Um, oh, hmm, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that for whatever reason. Whatever reason, I was expecting us to be in the UK. Oh, no, we probably are. Uh, the, we're actually probably not in the UK. We are in Ireland? Is that what, is that what this would be? Oh, that's perhaps. All right. Are we in Ireland? Maybe we are. Maybe we're not. McCabe's Shoes. Yeah, I believe we are indeed in Ireland. All right, good to know. Good to know, Ireland. Um, now, where in the heck? Well, this is pretty big. So we were in Kingston, Jamaica to start off with. And now we are likely going to be in Dublin, Ireland. It seems to make sense to me. It's a pretty big city. Capital cities could be a theme. I don't know. Capital cities could indeed be a theme. Uh, so uh, let's go Dublin, Ireland. Where? Somewhere right around here. The answer was indeed it was Dublin. Uh, well, it was a place really called Black Rock, but I'm, I'm probably part of the city, I would imagine. Uh, so there you go, 5685. Oh yeah, in yesterday's episode, when I kept saying that uh, the city of Ottawa was uh, bigger than the size of Singapore, what I really meant was Luxembourg, the entire country of, right? So uh, that's what I meant when I said, there's no way I've explored all of it. I mean, geez, you know, Bell's Corners. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's kind of crazy. Uh, it always surprises me, but there you go. All right, Discover. Now, who is a Discover card? Ain't nobody's got a Discover card. Oh, jeez, Luis. Right, this is, a, this is a challenge full of either nudity or, like, shirtless people. So we're at a water park, and I'm going to just pan up because, uh, you know what, these people wearing a swimming attire, you know, they didn't want to be in this video, did they? No, they didn't. So, you know, we'll pay as a little attention to them as possible. But uh, there you go. You know, people fully dressed, the entrance to the park. Now, for whatever reason, I think we're in Sweden. This is just the first thing that comes to mind. Pizzeria, and that doesn't really help. Mostly because I think we've been to a water park in Sweden before. But honestly, there's a Discover card. So what are the odds? Um, you know, that a Discover card, is is that something that is, uh, that is popular in Sweden? I, I don't think so. Mega Wedge. Mega Wedgie? Oh, Mega Wedgie. I thought it said Mega Wedge. All right. Uh, it's recommended that both children, 48 inches and under, uh, wear water swimmers and life vests. Okay, so uh, we're, I guess we're in America. In uh, what is likely a southern state, I would imagine. Um, if we are in America, we could be in like Australia. We're in a mainly English-speaking country. Right? I mean, really, when are we... Uh, maybe we are in Australia. Look at that. There are... There are kangaroos. A, a Noah's Ark-themed attraction at a water park. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Right? I mean, do you immediately... I mean, the kangaroos... Like, I guess... I mean, I guess, yeah, there are kangaroos, but... Yeah, yeah, why, why not? All right. Public showers. I guess so. In fact, if we were in America, I'd expect maybe in like a thing like this, you would actually see a little bit of Spanish going on. So, like on on a sign like this, I I would actually maybe uh what what are we called? We're called Splashwater Kingdom. I'd expect maybe to actually see um I expect maybe to see like a little bit of Spanish on those signs uh, that are telling us all about uh, like safety and things like that. So I think Splashwater Kingdom. May had no discover card. We've got to be, we've got to be in America, right? The discover card thing. Quicksilver, Hurley. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. But I mean, like safety information. That's the kind of thing where I feel like that should be in at least multiple languages, right? Like you know, safety information. I feel like that's that's a, you know, that's something you'd want. Wow, look at that. What in the hell is this? I mean. Here's Sonic. 
here's Shadow. Here's that weird character they made up for that Sonic 06 game. And I don't know what the hell this is. A Golden Sonic? Actually, I think, is Golden Sonic part of the Sonic lore? I think so. Isn't that uh, in Smash Bros? All right, Bud Light. We, we are in America, all right? We're not in Australia anymore. We, we are indeed in America. Where in America are we? I, I don't know. You know, we're not going to find... Maybe we'll find, you know, Budweiser advertisements in uh, Jack Link's... Okay, yeah, the, the products... It's too... This is too, too much American stuff going on here. We definitely are in America. So where in America are we? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's a water park. It's got a lot of big trees, doesn't really help me very much now does it i've been to a water park in texas before i gotta say it was pretty good did it look like this no it, it really didn't look anything like this uh but uh i thought it was a pretty good one season pass is something like the great escape price chopper house of barbecue is that really where you want to go for barbecue at the price chopper house of barbecue <laughs> i mean maybe this is pretty fun. Like a cool theme park. Well, we're it's no longer capital cities. It's uh I don't know. I I really really don't know. Upgrade to a 2011 season pass. Canyon Blaster. Nightmare. Oh, jeez, Louise. Shaved Ice. This is a really big theme park. Is this maybe a Six Flags? Wells Fargo Bank. Shaved ice. Wow, I've got to admit, I, I really, really don't know where this is going to be. Wow, look at that. The Soaring Eagles. All above there. Steaman Demon. <laughs> it's a really great name for a roller coaster. Steaman Demon. Wow. Got to admit, I got no idea where we are. Uh, we're going to say that we are at a theme park, um, at a, maybe a Six Flags. I don't think we're in upstate anywhere. I think we're going to be, like, um, something like a Six Flags is in Virginia or something like that. Like, Richmond? That's where I'm feeling that we are. The answer was, oh, no, it was, uh... What was it? What was it called? Six Flags Great Escape. Okay, well, you know, I don't know my Six Flags too much, right? I don't know where Six Flags Great Escape is located. I don't know if we saw any Six Flags branding. I definitely saw Great Escape, but that didn't really tell me anything. I felt we were more south than Albany. Oh, we were even more north than Albany. Jesus, I live kind of close to here. It's not that far of a ride, really. Could probably, nah, I mean, it's an annoying drive because I have to take like a middle of nowhere path. I guess, like, probably down here would be... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it would be easier to go to Montreal and down. Yeah, definitely going to Montreal and down would be the fastest way. So that's, like, a six-hour drive away from me. Well, you know, i got to admit, I've never been. It looks pretty good. But I think there's a really good one around here somewhere. It's a really good theme park somewhere around here that is probably worth going to a lot more than uh, this one over here. So, uh, there you go, 2296. All right. Still haven't figured out the theme. Um, yeah, I, I really, I, I haven't really seen a theme at all. Uh, we could be in America again. Oh, yeah, one of the things I wanted to say, uh, yesterday I got a challenge. Uh, someone, someone sent in uh, an attempt at uh, finding out uh, who, uh, where that uh, secret picture of me is in Google Street View. Well, it, I mean, I'm technically in a few pictures, but, you know, the main one that you could see me in, you can really only see me in, like, three pictures anyways. Uh, someone sent in an attempt, and unfortunately, that was not me. Oh, we're in Canada. Okay, we're in Canada. Unfortunately, not me. That is right. That was not me. So I figure uh, I should really give you guys a little bit of a better clue as to where I am. Because, honestly, searching the whole city, even if you guys do have an idea that it's going to be downtown somewhere, which I think you might... Uh, my clues, you know, honestly, if you don't know the city, and I, I think you all don't, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you to find. So I'll, I'll let you, I'll narrow down the area for you guys. Uh, the area of the city, uh, it's Ottawa, where I live, uh, that the picture of me can be found uh, is going to be, it's an area called the Byword Market. So I'm in that general area. So you can ignore a bunch of the clues that I gave you guys before. Um, but the, the clues that would be still important to find me in the Byword market 
were I'm somewhere in the BioWare market. I'm I'm in a picture, the same sort of if you pan around you're going to see a big sign that uh, says 2017 advertising that year that I've complained about uh, many a time before. And um, I'm uh, relatively nearby to a diner. So there you go. Um, that those are those are the uh, those are the clues that uh, that are relevant now. So I'm somewhere in the byword market. I'm near a diner, and I'm right beside a big sign that says 2017, which you can see in the picture. I, I'm not just telling you guys that there is one now. I mean, what the hell is that? Can, that what the hell good is that going to give you? It's in the picture. So there you go. If you guys uh, want to uh, try and find where I am and then create a challenge and, and make that last location uh, that one, then absolutely. Uh, but uh, much like uh, someone from uh, someone from Geelong, who was the person who actually um, sent in uh, the, the 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 first guess, which unfortunately was wrong, but pretty close actually. There you go. I'm not gonna say yeah. That that guy, that guy, blurry face, hard to tell. Uh, you looked. Uh, sure, you know, from afar, if you haven't really seen me in real life, sure, I could say, I could say that looks like me, absolutely, uh, but no, not quite, not quite indeed, uh, so uh, there you go, but actually someone from Geelong came up with a really good idea, and that idea was to first just send me a link where it's like the first location, so then I could just click on it, confirm, yes, that's where I am, and then a challenge where it's going to be like the last location. Because obviously, if there's a picture of me, I'm going to know where it is. It's not going to be a thing. It'll be like, oh, here's the big reveal. There's Here's where I am in the world um, walking by. Um, but, uh, you know, just the, it was really, really good idea. They sent uh, a, like a picture that uh, like they sent a link of the challenge where the very first location was that so I was able to check it and confirm that unfortunately they got the wrong one and I and, and it was then that I realized my god you know how the hell are you guys how was I expecting you guys to search like an entire city I mean that's ridiculous I mean first of all searching the byword market is going to be damn near impossible but I think the uh, the clues that I gave you guys uh, I'll be able to if any of you guys care enough to do it be able to narrow it down. That being said, you know I've been, I've been blabbering on and on about this for quite a long time, mostly because I don't know where I am. Shorncliffe Lake is it's we're in Alberta. I know that much on the forty one. I guess forty one. All right, sure. Let's can we find this or is that going to be impossible? It's going to be impossible. All right, are we south or no? We're in a place called Shorncliffe. Edmonton, jeez oh, Louise. 40? Are the roads numbered in a, in a way that makes any sense? 40, oh God. Can guarantee you that the roads are not in any order that makes any sense. Well, I'm going to guess that we're around here somewhere, because other than that, I really don't know. So let's go right around there, make the guess, and the answer was, oh, I mean, jeez, come on. How could I have guessed? Czar. Wow, what a what a name. Czar. We're in, we're in Alberta. Okay. There you go. Czar. Uh, 2502. And finally, two rivers, twice the excitement. Wow, you know that uh, that means that this place is really not exciting. I mean, if two rivers is really like the big... First of all, this is a beautiful, beautiful picture. Whoever uh, took this did a great job at making it uh, look absolutely beautiful. Great colors out of it. Um, the lighting is really nice around here. Uh, it is uh, very, very cool. But uh, we're also in New Zealand. We know that much. And if I just have to make a guess as to where in New Zealand we are, I, I was going to guess we were in, um, I was going to guess we were actually around here, but I don't think that anymore. That's, there's not two rivers there. Is there two rivers here? Yeah, there's not two rivers. We're a Christchurch, uh, as not really two rivers. Arthur's Pass. Where was I going to guess? I don't know. I really don't know where I was going to guess, actually. Huh, interesting. I guess I had nothing. Two rivers, twice the excitement. All right, well, let's move this way. Oh, wow. It's got to say, that's actually really nice looking. Paraflight. Uh, Queenstown, New Zealand. All right, oh, oh there you go. Twi twice the rivers. Well, that appears to be a single lake. No rivers. 
Well, you Queenstown, you know, I gotta say, you got some personality. That's for sure. This is a beautiful place. Well, let's take a look at, at it because, wow, is it ever wonderful. Wow, check out this statue. Now, that's a good statue. I like that quite a bit. Pumpkin patch, kids wear. All right. Uni kitchen. These are some really great pictures. Wow. These, yeah, these are some absolutely beautiful pictures. This looks like the kind of place that I'd kind of like to, like, yeah. This is great. What a fantastic looking place. It's probably really expensive. This is, uh, this is a great place. Can you, can you ski nearby here? It looks like you can. Maybe. Maybe up here. Wow. Now that is, uh, that is really, really nice. I would definitely like to go here if I went on a trip to New Zealand. I mean, like, I get it. Lord of the Rings. Everyone wants to see that stuff, right? This seems a lot cooler to me. This is this looks like a lot of fun. All right, let's go to Queenstown. Beautiful place, 6471. All right, so now the theme. Uh, Kingston, Jamaica. All right. Then we were in Dublin, Ireland. Then we were in... Uh, not Richmond. Then we were in... Uh, Queensbury, uh, New York. Well, all right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm King. Okay. I I'm getting a thing, but the one I don't figure out is Dublin. Dublin. See, that's the one that I'm not getting. Is it not Dublin? Is it somewhere else? Because all of these places seems to have names of, like, royalty, right? It's like Kingstown, or Kingston, over here. Then we went to, uh, then we went to Dublin. Which I, I don't get. I feel bad for not understanding. Is it, is maybe, it's another name for another place? Dun Lago Hair. Black Rock? Uh, there's, there's something I'm not getting about this location. Maybe it's Dublin, and maybe I'm just not understanding how that's a a, a royal type name. Then we were in uh, we were in Queensbury. See Queen, yeah, it's sort of a theme right there. Then we were in Czar in uh, Alberta again, same sort of deal. And then uh, finally Queenstown, New Zealand, Dublin. I I don't under, I don't get that one. Maybe there's a word that I'm not understanding. I, yeah, I really don't know. Here, let me let me look it up. Here, this is going to be fun. Hey, yeah, let's just watch a, a blank screen while I talk a little bit. Now it's like a podcast, right? Uh, Dublin Themology. Sure. Tell me a little bit about what Dublin means. Blackpool. Okay. Well, that doesn't help anyone, does it? Blackpool. All right, I guess my theme, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know then. All right, maybe it's something about letters. Uh, a J, an I, uh, an, an A, a C, and a N? No, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I, I don't know the theme. Maybe I was onto something, maybe I wasn't. Maybe this place isn't Dublin. Maybe this place has another name. Dundrum, Dalkey, Glass Tool, Black Rock, Salinogan. Wow, what a name. Or maybe <laughs> Bo uh, Booterstown. Something here that I'm not getting. Uh, uh, yep, something that I'm not getting. But honestly, Dun Logair. Maybe that's the name of the place, and I I'm just not in. Balls Bridge. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Or maybe I'm completely off on the theme. Anyways, so there you go. I don't know what it is. You guys tell me down in the comment section below. 23328. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I know I certainly have. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up. Look at the screen and repeat. 
I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.